And it is time for our Sunday Science, this time taking a look at a local study of peregrine falcons. Kat Villianzoni joins us with more. Good morning. Good morning, Julie. This new study tracked the falcons for almost 20 years, and researchers hope the results will help them better understand the birds' movements and what we might be able to do to help keep them safe. Almost a thousand birds were fitted with leg bands over that time, and more than 200 of them were encountered again in the wild. More than 100 were found dead with those leg bands still intact. This gave biologists the rare opportunity to track the birds from where they were born to where they were spotted in the wild or where they died. Unfortunately, with most of them, it was impossible to determine exactly what killed them. But for others, the biggest killer was airplane strikes. Uh, peregrines are attracted to, to airports for a number of reasons. One, it's wide open spaces, which is where they like to hunt. And there's often a lot of other birds, which is their main prey. The more we can learn about how peregrines are killed, it also gives us a way to learn uh, or come up with strategies to uh, prevent those deaths in the future. The next major cause of death Falcons striking stationary objects like windows, bridge cables, or skyscrapers. The peregrine falcons were also likely to die within the first or second years of life before they developed the full skill set needed to survive. And Julie, the falcons also travel far. One falcon born in Rochester, Vermont, was found dead about 2,300 wow. miles away in Nicaragua.